one moist and delicious meal in every can. A couple of moves, fast motion, sort of go along, explaining a few of the things as I go, and then uh, show a couple of things in slow motion. As it comes for me, I don't, I don't use strength, I don't need strength, it's just my energy is going down, he finds it real hard to get up because of my energy, not because I'm pressing on him, if I try to use strength to overcome him, it becomes very difficult, in other words, if I tell him I'm going to take my baby finger, which is very small compared to his body, and I say, I want you to break it. If I use strength, match my strength against his, naturally it hurts because his body's so much stronger than my finger. But if I say, push me over or break my finger, this is my baby finger. And Merv, come on up behind him and just push on him. I want to, I want to. We're not going to hurt you, you're not going to have to fall down. I'm not your nephew. I just want you to push. And say, see? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> what, I, what I'm doing is just using my energy. My energy is going out. Okay? This is my key. And he's pushing. And he's pushing. And he's pushing. This is my baby finger. It's not my, my body. And this is my baby finger too that forces him down. Mm. Let me show a little bit of weapons, take away a little bit of weapons now. Just hold them with okay? Weapons? Yeah, I'm gonna show a little bit of knife take away, and a little bit of sword. Uh, first of all, state of mind is really important. When we're talking about women's self-defense, I think the most important thing is attitude. By virtue of the fact that somebody's a woman, the attacker thinks, I'm a big man, I've got the advantage. Therefore, she has the element of surprise with her. If he sticks a knife in my back, and he has this here, if I tell him, if I move, you kill me. I'll show slow motion. What really happens is, when I move, when I move, my arm is already there. In other words, from here, if I move out this way, or move sideways at all, he'll cut me. What I'm really doing is cutting the angle. You see? Mm -hmm. But from here, and I have the knife. Mm -hmm. You see? It's the same thing from the front. We can have this in my throat. Oh, 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 Now, when somebody's got you that close up, it's easy. It's when they back off and they start flailing the knife around that it's harder. Mm. Let me show just a little bit of that. Just what you find you do. So what's happening here is this. You cut He cuts. He cuts. He cuts any time that he's up in the air 
or, or past the center, I know he can slice me good. But it's at the exact moment that he passes the center that I know I can enter. Then we can hack. Right there. Now I've got him. I've got him. Is it true, Steve, that this fellow that's working with you used to be the same size you were? Huh? On the next, on the sword technique, I'm going to show you how he got so much smaller. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's also his voice change. You'll see that in just a minute. Oh, poor guy. Jack, it might be the ultimate diet. <laughs> I'm on a diet now, too. Are you? Yeah. Trying to get slim and trim again. What do you think of this fella, Jack? He's very nice person. Is he a nice person? Jack, Jack is the... Uh, yes, Jack is the trumpet man. The trumpet man. Yeah. Fantastic band. Yeah, glad you like it. You guys are great. <laughs> this is the technique where he got a lot smaller. And what's up? Oh, That was the voice change, wasn't it? See, a long time ago, when you learn Kenjutsu, the real art of the sword, you have to learn how to deal with armor. And in the groin and under the arms, armor could never be real strong for mobility purposes, but you have the femoral artery in here, brachial artery in here. So a lot of the techniques are under the arms and in the groin. Uh, very effective with or without armor. Oh, absolutely. As you can see. <laughs> we know that, don't we, Jim? In the commercials we've done. I'm going to, unless you have any questions, I'm going to pretty much call it quits. Oh, I think that is unbelievable. Aikido. Thank you. Well, I thank you, Steve Siegel and his assistant. And to Jane Coburn, who's brought us another winner. Hi. Thank you, Jim. We'll come back after this message. Be patient. Merv will return. Join her at the end.